So now I have some what we call photochromic materials. I'm going to start with this one. It's a photochromic putty and I'm going to come around to the side again so I can shine the light on it. Here's the red light and that sort of white putty isn't changing. Here's the green one and it's not changing. Here's the blue laser and you can't even see it but it's there because you can actually see that it's changing color a little bit. It's going from this sort of whitish pinky stuff to a burgundy. Here's the purple LED which has even more energy. And so now I can really change its color by just shining some light on it, even through the plastic. And so again, I can sort of write on this putty with light, but this time instead of getting light, I'm getting color. And that's called photochromic. I have some other photochromic materials. The lights in the studio are making them change, so I'm just going to turn them on. So here's a bag of photochromic beads. I'm going to just go ahead and use the purple LED and shine light on it and then you can actually see that the colors change and it's a bag of mixed colors so I'm getting a variety of a variety of different things there's some pink and some purple and I'm going to turn the black light on as well help me out here So this is another form of photochromism, and they come in a variety of different colors. And then you can get single colors. So these are, um, the plastic here has photochromic material in the frames. So I can write on the frames, so when you go outside they change so that they become darker. My glasses do that to the lenses, the transition lenses. And then here's some white plastic, which I can also write on with light. And it changes to a slightly different color. And exactly how you make these or what they are doing, uh, we'll actually discuss in the unit on colors.